What's up guys? This is a lot of luck. The new Blood and Titanium DLC has just come out and I thought this is a good time for me to start the first Let's Play campaign in Phoenix Point. So basically I will be playing the tutorial again just in case anybody's new to the game. The Living Weapons DLC of course I'll comment on that during the game if we get to missions. I'll play on Veteran. I'll still probably be safe spamming a lot because uh, I tried running an Iron Man campaign in this game and it's just completely impossible. And of course the new Blood and Titanium DLC. New content patch is already installed. So let's see what we get. My name is Randolph Symes. I am the last leader of the Phoenix Project. If you are hearing this, I am most likely dead. But in happier news, a scarab has been sent to pick you up, and its artificial intelligence will take you to Phoenix Point. Get to it quickly and safely. Alright, so basically nothing really new with the tutorial, I guess. We'll see. Sprinting! Got a visual! In case you're wondering why the performance is bad, I'm playing this on a quite old laptop. Since I'm on the road a lot. So, the free aim shooting, the most important reason why I love this game. I actually prefer it over the old XCOM series and the new XCOM series. So, kill all enemies. Yes, lovely. Those are close combat we'll fighters. Lek has no armor, so we can put all our damage in there. Okay. Well, I know these are close combat fighters, so I'm not really making a good decision by running towards them and fighting them in close quarters, but... Well... Oh, a little bit. There we go. One guy left. Probably gonna strike at my guy here. Yeah. We got them. Of course you can always stop these 
videos later on if you're not familiar with the game to see the tutorial screens. I'll just skim through it at, at this point. Because, well, it's the third time I'm playing this. Not the most interesting part of the game. Actually, I'm mostly playing it to see if there are any new uh, contents revealed in the tutorial already. So, both soldiers injured, both get their experience, let's go on. This message, an alert has been triggered and you will need to clear out the enemy forces. There may be others who receive this signal. Help them if you can. It's all up to you now. Good luck, operatives. Symes out. So, our scarab has taken us to the Phoenix Point base. Isn't that nice? This is the first look we actually get at the Phoenix Point base. I didn't get that until I played the tutorial for the second time, I guess. Standing by. No time to waste. Host the tutorial really makes you do stupid stuff, but uh, never mind about that. I mean, if I ever leave an operative standing like this within the sight of two machine gunners, yeah, he did. Moving now. Let's try this. Shaboom. Checking your status. And we are getting our heavy. So, we've got the front of the base. Got our hangar. With our trusty airship. And we still got an enemy. Here. The two enemies. Three enemies. Nicely done. Just hope this guy doesn't use his grenade launcher right now. Yep. Machine gun, that's alright. Yeah, 
Right, I hit the shield, of course. Ready for of course action. I did. On my way. Here we go. So, that was the second tutorial mission. Up until now, nothing new showed up here. It was founded on October 24th, 1945. The second war to end all wars was over, but there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time, the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries. Even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon, began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN. Stripped of resources and scattered to the winds, we were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien, we should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. Three factions arose, New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the Disciples of Anu, a new syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. Yes, like a phoenix, we got it. Alright then. We're in South America. Alright. That don't actually give us a lot of places to go, I mean... There's the Arctic. Ah, sorry, Arctic. And Arctic, of course. Uh, which we may be able to enter, but I'm not sure we may leave it. In the direction of Australia or something. We have the passage to North America, and from there we can go basically everywhere. So, let's see what else. Oh yeah, I promised you some safe spamming, so... We wanna do... A Geoscape 1, that's gonna be always the save when I enter the Geoscape. Geoscape 2, several in between. And, uh... Other quick saves during the battles. I'll try to do it each round and not forget it too much, but we'll see. So, with regard to soldiers, it appears that we have the same basic soldiers as we had any time before. One heavy, one sniper, three assault. Let's do some exploring. So, a scavenging site. Lovely. What are we gonna do? Call this GX. And start a mission. GX. Geoscape exit. Alright. Here we go. 
scavenge mission crates nothing new so far I see them We have rebel fighters against us in the beginning. Interesting. Yeah, not rebel fighters, you know what I mean. Independent. Whatever. So. Let's get our sniper up top. So I've got a sniper with them also. Moving now. Sprinting. Five by five. Double time. Let's see what happens. I'm not really sure how this mission is going to play out. I mean, with the aliens, I understand that they're. Yeah, okay, the independent guys also want to destroy resources. That makes sense. Totally. Why not? Yeah, that's not the best shot I've ever had. over here. Let's see, carrying a machine gun. Yeah. I'm here. All right. Comes online. Let's get you guys in position to do some damage once we're there. Boy, they have a small movement range in the beginning. I'm not really gonna go in long distance shootout with a sniper, that doesn't make Running. a lot of sense. can do here is get our heavy up in an elevated Let's get this position. Done. What this? Oh, come on. There's no ground tiles here. Ah, that's always that's uh, that kind of beats the purpose of getting him up there. So how do I get him over there? On the move. Like this. Okay. If that's how we do things, that's how we do things. Sh 
should have saved already a lot more, but you see I'm not used to that. Get over here. I'll put you in close quarters against it. What's Those guy? folks down there. Moving now. Yeah, that's what we say for, right? So what we wanted to do was okay, get Double the heavy time. over there. And then get the sniper in a position where he can actually give a shot. Still not a good position. Better than nothing. So what else can All we do? Set. How far can we already throw grenades? That's not too bad. The ceiling seems to be in the way. Let's get this done. So better than nothing. Advancing. Comes online. Yeah, of course, this is a massive concrete pillar. That's not something that a grenade can really have an impact on. I'm on the move. Let's go over here, try if we can Zooming do some in. damage to the sniper. A rifle, I won't be able to kill that. So... Let's do some damage. Yeah. Some damage. Not a lot of damage. Just, you know, some damage. Can't rush yet. All right then. It's really nice of those guys that they don't think about like murdering my guys. Just lots of resources. So now we think of safe spamming. There we go. Let's see what we can do here. It's not really what I was talking about. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's not good. Six damage. That's not too bad. Number one.
So, can I knock that heavy out completely? Let's see. He's not got such a heavy armor Aiming. actually for a heavy. It's early in the game after all. Can't knock out the MG. I can knock out this arm. There you go. Try using your MG now, sucker. Let's try hitting the leg again. Legs disabled, nice. Uh, just to be sure, he doesn't have anything else, right? Bash and melee, okay, good to do war cry. That's alright, I don't care about that. Two. Taking aim. Oh, yeah, he's running. Yo, yeah. so that was our first mission. I've done a scavenging site. I'm not a fan of that he run, the third guy. If he hadn't run, maybe I would have gotten a first level up. So, until now, we've had nothing new. Some items recovered, of course. Sniper magazine, mostly ammunition. Some resources recovered, two were lost. That's not too bad. Soldiers need to recover, yep. So, now I can actually have a look what kind of soldiers we have here. We have our tiny guy. Self-defense specialist, strong man. 30% bonus damage on a heavy weapon. That is not too bad. Thief. That's not really needed. 30% the strong man with the uh, with the rage burst that's actually gonna be a strong combination. Maybe level him up as a sniper on level 4. We'll see about that. Self defense, yeah I don't really see the advantage of that. Prince or sniper. Also a strong man. Strong man with marked for death. Do we need a sniper with a heavy? I don't know. Uh, salt rifle proficiency. Yeah, reckless. 30% bonus damage with minus 20% accuracy. We'll see about that. Then we have a quarterback, basically a mobile grenade launcher. Plus 2 to willpower and 10 perception range and a thief. That's a scout if I ever saw one. Maybe I can team that up with a Sinedrian. And the uh, close quarters. Shotgun, melee weapon, thief, sniper rifle. Alright. We'll have a look into this later. And then the last one. 50% bonus healing, viral attacks and... Yeah, 20% accuracy for assault rifles. Let's see about that. Atmospheric analysis. We have managed to connect to some of the remaining weather satellites. We should use these to assess the extent of the new mist outbreak. Global mist monitoring systems will be available. Yeah, don't have much choice, do we? There we go. So, 
Don't forget to save. Me lord, don't forget to save. So, fully healed and rested. Really like an auto pause on that. Research complete. Atmospheric analysis. Reprogramming of our satellite systems has revealed the extent of the new mist outbreak. The origin sites are in coastal sea regions as in the previous two incursions, but the activity level seems higher, posing a serious threat to remaining life on Earth. Havens caught within the mist will be at risk of attack, so we should explore mist-covered regions thoroughly and defend any havens trapped within them. Our G-Escape monitoring systems have been updated with current mist coverage. What I haven't found out yet is actually if I defeat a base inside the mist, if it does anything to the mist because the mist seems to spread anyway, it will save some of the havens in the vicinity, but in the late game the havens just seem to attack each other, they ra rarely do anything in my favor. We'll see about that. So, here's our missed outbreak. And here's the second one. In Northern Siberia somewhere. Good, good. Manufacturing, yes, I can manufacture a medicate. And I'll satellite up link is there. Makes sense. Let's have a look what happens. Thank you, thank you. The fire within, dear. At the disciples of a new heaven of dear. A mutated worm infestation is causing serious problems. The locals have placed their hopes in Toxiarch Nurgle, the disciple's greatest military hero. But Nurgle is said to be fighting a series of pitched battles against the Pandorans and has been unable to help. We could eradicate this infestation ourselves, helping the Haven and creating a good first impression with this faction. Yes, yeah, certainly. Just have a look at this. Six out of six. Okay, let's go with this and this. Ammo, um, eight pistol shots. I won't have any more. Okay, let's get in there. Go! Oh, first mission after the tutorial. We got our sniper, we got everybody there. And first of all, what we're gonna do is get some overview. I thought I might see some worms from up here. Arms online. Apparently I was mistaken. Well, no worries. There's a worm. Brilliant. Channel open. Heading out. So we have fire worms. That's not too bad. Ready to fire. Let's 
see, I've never tried this. Can I actually shoot through somewhere? Yeah. Number one down. I want the sniper in an elevated position also. Big ol' overwatch. More worms. Range. Okay, apparently he sees a lot more and our heavy guy we send up there. Can I still get one shot out? Yes, not very precise, but shot went wide. Shot is shot. is probably going to get over here. Let's see how this works out. Let's hope they don't both use their overwatch on the same one. Clear. Actually, what we can try with this is... I don't know if this may explode. There's a bottle there. That might work. Yep, didn't explode. Maybe I should have targeted the red barrel or a red bottle. We'll see about that. Anyway, still have an overwatch. And our heavy can still aiming. Well, why not? Let's take a chance. Target missed. There we go. One down. Two down. And... Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. What's our plan? So, we can get those two with one grenade. I know how to do this. Or with a little bit of ammunition. Actually, it's more fun with the grenade. Let's check this out. Boom that. And we Ready to fire. always want to level our sniper. That was a kill. Receiving line so clear. now Let's see where this ah uh, yeah. Heading Here's out. another worm. That's a little bit too far away. Go like this. Let's give her any other chance. Nope. Ready to fire. Sniper with a pistol. Nope. And let's see what we can do with these guys. Number one. Covering. Number two. There's our Overwatch. Oh boy. One, two more. So that's one for us, sniper. 
One less to worry about. And the other one's right behind there. Can we get to him? Yeah. So where are our swarms? I have no idea. Just in case it's got a lot of overwatching in place. I think yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought exactly. Channel open. Ready to fire. One more kill for the sniper, and the mission is done. So, I'm hoping for some progress here with our soldiers. Level up, level up, level up. Okay, four out of five. That's a good one. Send the Apostle to the Onesborn to check them out. But I'm gonna break protocol to say thanks. Now listen, I'll be honest with you. The Exalted is the only one who has any real answers. Tobias West may be clever, and Sinedrian may sound great, but only the Exalted is dealing with the world as it actually is. She can lead us out of this mess. Give us lives worth living. I'd like to know more. If you want to work with us, you'll still have to deal with the hierarchy. Work your way up from the Apostle to the Onceborn, to the Keeper of the Threshold, all the way up to the Synod of Yearning and the Exalted herself. That's hard work. You'll have to earn the knowledge you gain. But trust me, it'll be worth it. And if the Synod gives you trouble, let me know. We will. Thanks, buddy. So... Where do we go next? Let's actually pause here for a second. We've got a lot to do now. We've got to check out our research, we've got to do deal with all the level ups on our personnel, we've got two more sites to discover. So, this was the first video of many many more to come. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember, when you are playing, that you are all just subjects to luck. Bye bye.